he was six weeks old when we were at a restaurant for dinner one night when he stopped breathing and turned blue on us. He spent 10 days in the hospital then, came home. Um, two days later, he ended up getting, turning blue again, stopped breathing on us, and prayed every night, just hoping that he would pull through. Quite a few of the doctors said that he had a good chance of not leaving the hospital alive. It was the most devastating thing that a parent could ever hear. At that point, I think we were both desperate. Anything that would work to make him live, it, we pretty much would take it and run with it. No other doctor knew how to do anything about it, so luckily Dr. Green came up and was able to do something. Tracheomalacia is collapse of the windpipe that makes it so a child is unable to breathe out. It's fairly rare, about 1 in 2,200 children has tracheomalacia. Kaiba is one of those children that had severe tracheomalacia. Even with the, the best medical treatments for it that are available, he continued to have breathing difficulties and continued to have events where he was unable to breathe. We obtained imaging of his defect with the CT scan. Scott Hollister instantly and rapidly went about designing a splint that could go and meet this, this need. This is the first time this procedure has been done anywhere in the world. This is a model of Kaiba's trachea and bronchi. The splint is designed to slip over the top of the bronchus just like this. This is really the first time I think it's been used uh, on an emergency basis where there was no other treatment available. So we get the plastic, the biopolymer, in a powder form with very small particle size. We also have a, f a computer file uh, that contains the information we've designed into the device, essentially the geometry of the device, etc. It's a, it's a biopolymer, essentially a, a plastic that's biocompatible and you can use it in the body and it, it resorbs over time. Kaiba was brought to the operating room. The splint was placed over the top of the bronchus. This has a process of opening the bronchus up anteriorly and posteriorly to completely widen the bronchus. It was amazing. As soon as the splint was put in, the lungs started going up and down for the first time. We knew that he would be okay. It means, it means the world to me just knowing that something actually worked and was able to save our son's life, it just means everything to me. But when he gets older, he, he can tell the people the story. It's all it's gonna be is a story about his life, how he made it, how he's doing, and how far he's gonna go.